hi 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 welcome back or welcome to kc nails my name is kylie cruz okay so in today's video i purchased this myself from amazon it's a model ones um uh, gel x kit and i wanted to test it out to see if it is worth the money now this was like on mega sale and i will disclose the prices here soon um, but that's actually one of the reasons why I purchased it. I want to know, is it better like to get on sale? Is it worth your money then, or was it worth your money before? So we're going to go ahead and unbox this together and then do a gel X nail set. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, hi, welcome. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe and stick around on my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for your endless love and support. You guys know it means the world to me. And if you always want to show some extra love, then please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Okay, so this is the model one set, like I had said. It's a Gel X kit. And I got this on Amazon with my own money. Um, it was originally, I think it was $36.99 or something like that. But I only paid like 13 bucks, you guys. Like crazy. Like kid you not. So I'm going to put the price up here on the screen. As you can see, I got the left um, picture. Um, in the right one, there is like some extra tools or whatever added, and that's why the price is a little bit higher, but I just opted for like the minimal basic. So each set, you can choose like the different shape um, and length of nails that you guys want to purchase with the kit. So if you go onto Amazon, you could like click um, like short almond, medium almond, or long square, whatever else, you know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be these exact shape and or length of nails, but I opted in for, I believe I got the either medium or the long uh, coffin nails. Okay, so this is what comes in with the kit. We have the 4-in-1 nail glue. Um, I have to tell you guys a funny story about this nail glue. So it wasn't funny at the time. I was actually kind of irritated. I could not for the life of me open this thing. Like I was actually getting mad and I don't have anyone around me to help me open it except for like my toddler who's two. So there's like no way she could open that. I was like, what is going on with this? So I ended up having to grab like a kitchen mitt. You know how the kitchen mitts, like some of them are silicone and they have like the stickiness. Yeah, that was the only way I could open the bottle and it took me, I kid you not, like 10 minutes. Okay, so I was able to get it open. So I was worried because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to use the uh, four in one nail glue for this video, but obviously that was like the whole point. So real quick, since um, I'm showing the little UV lamp here, um, it is a pretty big size like compared to my Beatles one and I do hold up the Beatles um, UV lamp. So this is how small the Beatles one is and then the model ones um, is in my right hand and you can see just like the difference. I do like the way that it's built in general like how it's I feel like it's a little bit more stable when you set it on the table. It didn't I didn't feel like it was going to like fall over or anything. On first impression, I really do like how it's sleek looking and I don't know, I just feel like in general it does, for me anyway, I'm more drawn to the look of this one versus the Beatles. Um, they both have uh, the same voltage, it's 5 watt. And at first I thought, okay, like this little button is cool, right? Because uh, the Beatles one doesn't have that, so it was new to me. But let me just tell you guys that I did not like the button. Okay, so the tips that I got with this specific set they're curved and I'm not a whole like a really big fan of the curved nails but I was like okay like we'll just go with it but every time I'd put my nail into that dang lamp it would hit because it was curved so it would hit like the bottom I couldn't lay it flat and then I couldn't really push the button because it's not like an automatic sensor the Beatles one is I think if they could implement like an automatic sensor on this thing that would make it 10 times easier and I honestly think that it'd be like you know the perfect little mini lamp uh, but with the button right there it's really inconvenient and I honestly didn't like it um, let me know what you guys think if you guys do have this like maybe there's like a different method but I mean I was trying to like hold my nail with my right hand at the same time as put it on and I just couldn't get it to work um, like smoothly okay so we will go back in with more more on that lamp there but for now I want to show you guys the nails that comes with the set so it ranged anywhere from size 0 to 9 9 being the smallest 
and so I'm going to take these nails out. Um, I do believe, like I said, I got the uh, long coffin nails. And something about these nails that I really did like and appreciated is they are etched on the inside. So I didn't have to do any of that, which was really, really convenient. Um, it's just there in order to prolong like the lasting of the Gel X. So that was super nice. Um, you could see that I said like it is curved and I'm not a huge fan of the curved nails. I do think with this set being on sale for like 13 bucks, 500 pieces of the full cover nail tips, like that's a good deal. And the fact that it comes with the 4-in-1 nail glue, we are going to test that out because I did eventually get that open with the, with the kitchen mitt. So I did want to go over the instruction manual just to show you real quick in case you are interested. This is called the Meow Lamp. Adorable but powerful is what is what the title is. And um, it, like I said, it, it is 5 volts and you can like preset it to 60 second auto timer or a 90 second auto timer. Um, while you're using it, um, which is super nice. And I actually didn't figure that out until, you know, the end where it was a little bit too late. But like I said, the issue wasn't that. It, the issue was that the button is inside and, and I just kept struggling with having to push that button and uh, maintaining the hold on my nail there. I did want to say that I'm normally a size two on my thumb for um, full cover nail tips. With these, I actually went down a size, so I went to a three. Um, so maybe they do, uh, you know, uh, make them a little bit larger. I'm not quite sure. Maybe that is just me, but let me know if that's the case for you guys as well. So I did want to just note that I went down a size um, for like each nail with these full cover nail tips. Um, Another thing I wanted to mention is when you're sizing the nail tips for yourself, you want to do sidewall to sidewall. And if they are too small or too big, like it's in between, you want to go to the bigger size and just file it to your size. Because if you go too small, obviously, like it's not going to completely cover the nail. And then you have uh, like a greater risk of it popping off since the... Uh, area of the nail isn't like matching the area of your natural nail so i always file the free edge i just want that smooth um, edge to begin with so i'm going to go in with my 100 180 grit using the smoother side which is the 180 and i'm just taking off the little hangnail things that i said before that i think the manufacturers it just happens when they're producing the nails so go ahead and take those off. I think it's easiest to do like just at the beginning. Try to file in one direction, not back and forth, just because if you file in one direction consistently, it's more smooth than it would be for going back and forth. You could potentially like split or and or just having like those little um, hangs, the hang now type things. So again, try and just file in one direction. That's especially important when you have and are filing your natural nails. So as I said before that I had that issue with opening this polish, guys, I mean, like I'm actually still like bent out of shape about this because it was such a struggle, but I'm going in with my peel off base coat on my natural nails first because I do need to pop these off. So I just wanted to show you that step. Um, and then I did get this open, as I said, and I'm trying to show you guys my hand is so red. Do you see that? That's from working at this for like 10 minutes and I wasn't exaggerating so I had to show you. So this is what the 4-in-1 nail glue looks like. It is pretty thick as they all are. Um, we're going to go ahead and test this out, see how it bonds with um, the nail and just in general like how it works and how I think it compares to the other ones I use. But first, like I said, I need to prep the nails for like a takeoff method. So I'm just putting um, my Model 1's cuticle oil on my nails and then I will place the peel off base coat. So as I am doing that real quick, I wanted to ask you guys um, to please check out my community tab on my uh, YouTube page. It really does help me out because I have like quite a bit of questions just relating to like the days you want you guys would like prefer me to upload um, like content ideas that you'd like to see 
and like your input really does matter to me but also um it helps me out because you know this channel is so new and just being able to get your guys' feedback really does um like help and matter so real quick as well if you guys are ever waiting for a long form content video to be uploaded then you can always check out my shorts videos i do a lot of like hand painted nail art that is one of them with the cute little cow and then i did some little butterflies um but i have like an abundance of shorts videos that is what i normally post on um i just wanted to get more into the long form i do enjoy doing the long form content so but if ever you guys want to see some more nail art ideas or just something from my channel then feel free to check those out okay so something to note about these nails as i said that they are um, etched on the inside which i appreciate but also they are tapered so that way they blend more seamless with the cuticle um, that is also nice a lot of the like the full cover nail tips they do that as i have seen and then they are stronger on the tip so this is the four in one nail glue um, I am going to be using this for this gel -X set of nails and I do apologize ahead of time that I can't wear these for a long like term to test them out for you guys for a wear test. I do have to pop these off. They are just a little bit too difficult for me to wear around. Um, I have a toddler but also just to create more content for you guys I just have to pop these off. So again I'm just apologize. So right here I'm showing you that I don't know what to do with myself here. Like <laughs> I was like, oh, I have this set where I want it, and then I tried putting my finger in, and I realized, like, how am I going to push the button, okay? So, I pushed the button with my right hand after, you know, I the first fail, couldn't even get it in there and, and get it, like, secure. That's okay, but this is a good example of, like, what to do. So, if this happens, you get it all set, you have the glue on the nail, you have all that, like, ready to go, and then you take it off, and it just looks like a globby mess. Take everything back off. Like, take like a lint-free wipe and get the glue off of that nail off of your natural nail as well and then reapply the glue and then do it again that's because you don't want the air bubbles on your natural nail it will affect like the longevity of your of the gel x nails so again just start from square one so i went ahead and already pushed that button with my hand before putting it into the the little lamp i would recommend doing that like i said it's too difficult to do um, while you're applying pressure if at all you have some of the glue uh, squeeze out from the top by the cuticle or underneath just take some isopropyl alcohol and a brush and clean it off I would suggest doing that before it cures all the way or else you're not going to really be able to get it off um, so like I said I just flash cured and then I went ahead and cleaned it up and then I put it back into the lamp so um if you just have this tiny little uv lamp available and you don't have like a full lamp nail uh lamp nail nail lamp then you then yes you want to flash cure at first and then you could put it back into this tiny little lamp to securely like cure it all the way okay so when i place the nail down um, as close to the cuticle as possible i am going in at like a 45 degree angle and it's like i said prior like in my prior videos it's like a teeter-totter method you're going down and then flat you're not just going flat um, and that's because it's trying to get as minimal amount um, of glue getting pushed up by the cuticle as possible so you really want to litigate that um, another thing that the instruction manual says is you're going to be curing in this nail lamp for 60 to 90 seconds. I don't necessarily do that. I do a flash cure for about 12 to 15 seconds, maybe even less than that if you're going to clean up the glue. And then I put it back in for a good 30 seconds. Um, but like I said before, if you don't have a larger nail lamp for like your entire hand, then you do want to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds in this tiny lamp to assure that everything is secure um, and then if you want to go back in again with another 30 seconds since it says the total could be 60 to 90 seconds then go ahead and do that you just want to make sure that it is fully cured um, it's going to make a difference in like the longevity of your nails i do have a video up on how i make my press-ons last i know that these are gel x nails but you can honestly do the same step it's going to make that difference that's with like the nail prep of the natural nail 
and everything in between. So if you want to check that video out, I will have it linked above. But that is something that I definitely recommend doing is making sure you prep that nail um, correctly. It's going to make your nails last way longer. So something that I learned about this lamp is you want to make sure you press the button before you, like right before you put your fingernail in there. Um, because as you could see, the light had turned off on me while it was in the lamp. That's because it had been on that whole time, like prior to. Um, but I needed it for that consecutive amount of time. So because there's no timer, you know, you don't really know when it's going to turn off. Just like with the others, they're all like that. But um, you just want to be sure that it's going to stay on. So I would just suggest putting the, pushing the button before. Okay, so I did quite a bit of talking in that. I hope some of those tips helped you guys though. So this is what they look like on, like I said, they have a pretty big curve. I'm still, like I said, I'm not really a fan. Um, after I paint them though, I do like them a little bit more. Would I pick these specific nail tips up? Probably not. I do like Model 1's tips uh, in general, but I just not a fan of the uh, curvature ones. Okay, so these are all set and ready to go to be prepped, so I'm going to go ahead and use my tapered cone and just clean up the sidewalls and the cuticle area, um, and then I'm going to go ahead in and buff the, like, the shine off of the full cover nail tips just so that gel polish adheres better, um, and I will be right back because I know that this video has been kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and speed things up. Okay, so the nails are all prepped and filed. The shine is gone, so the gel polish should be uh, sticking even better now. I am gonna go ahead and clean these up with a lint-free wipe just to get the dust and debris off of the nails. That's very important. You don't want um, any of that sticking around because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna show up on the gel polish. Okay, so that's all cleaned up and we are moving on to the base coat. This is also Model 1's. I tried using as many of their products in this video as I could just to keep it, um, you know, the same. This is by no means like a sponsored video or anything like that. So these are all my opinions as they would be as well, you know, if it was sponsored. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I do have... Um, an Amazon storefront with uh, quite a few of their products linked below. So if you want to purchase from there, I thank you guys so much in advance. And I do have a um, an affiliate, affiliate code with them as well. So you can use that code down below too. And again, you guys, I'm so appreciative of everything. Um, I did want to say that this is my like go-to product from them for sure is their base and top coat. I always use it. So we are going to jump into the design. I have some Model 1's um, gel polishes as well. These were actually like my first polishes that I ever kind of purchased, just in general. They came in a pretty big set. Um, they're kind of on the smaller side, but they're perfect for just like beginners or whatever. Um, I know it is March right now, but we are going into April here soon enough. I just feel like the time flies. So I'm going to be doing like an Easter inspired nail set. So I wanted to start off with like like the, you know, that really pretty pink Easter -y bunny ear color. As you guys know, I don't really have anything planned in advance. I always end up doing the nails and just winging it. So we will see how this turns out. I haven't used these colors in like quite some time. So I was actually super impressed with this yellow because it was so bright, but it was just really, really pretty. So I might have to go back and make like, make like an entire set of yellow nails. I think that would be super pretty. I intended on using this really pretty like light blue color from Model 1's. I could not get the bottle open again for the life of me. I don't know what's going on with my hands but I can't seem to open anything. So I had to go in with this Beatles blue which was like the closest I could get to the color I was going to use. Um, that's fine. I just had to, I just wanted to show you guys that it's not from the Model 1's uh, collection. So I'm going in with this like baby blue. It is super pretty. Um, and I think all the colors already just speak Easter like does it not doesn't it look like a little egg or something? 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these base colors and then I will get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is what the nails look like as of right now. I only did one layer on each color on the nails. Actually, the blue and the purple look pretty good, um, but I am going to go in with a second coat on all of the nails just to make the colors look more vibrant, especially that yellow because it's so pretty, but it does need uh, another coat. Okay, so I had this idea and I really want to add some chrome powder. So we're going to go ahead and add chrome powder to all of the nails. I think it's going to just like... I don't know, I just think these colors are so pretty, but I just wanted to add like an extra something, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and put the chrome on all of the nails. Okay, so as you can see, the chrome powder is kind of messy. It does get around your fingers and all of that, so I need to clean that up. So first, before I clean it up, I want to go ahead and top coat it because when I wipe away the excess uh, powder around like my cuticle area, I don't want the chrome powder to come off. So go ahead and top coat and then cure for about 60 to 90 seconds, and then I'm going to take a lint-free wipe and isopropyl alcohol and just scrub away the excess. Okay, now that it's all cleaned up, this is what it looks like. I love that blue. It's so pretty. Honestly, I can't really choose. They all look so cute. Um, I think that chrome really did just take it to the next level, but we are going to add a little bit of design. So I have some colors on my palette here. And on my blue nail, I decided to paint little eggs. Um, they're not going to be very detailed. They're actually really, really basic eggs. Um, just because I'm trying to keep the video as uh, simple as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just use um, a brush. I'm pretty sure this is from Model Ones as well. And I'm just going to draw little like egg-shaped dots. So I probably could have left it as is, like just little polka dots. Um, I think that would have been cute as well. But I went ahead and took the dotting tool, which was like the other side or end of the brush I was using, and I'm just going to put like little um, black dots. You know those little candies? Oh, they're so good. They have like the little crisp stuff inside, but they have like those little dots on the outside of the egg to make it look speckled. I, I kind of just tried to do that. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did on the ring finger there. And then for my pointer, I wanted to do like cute little bunny ears. Um, I just thought this yellow was like my second favorite color of like all the ones I did. So I had to embellish that. So we're doing simple little ears. Um, we're going to do one ear straight up and one ear like folded. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and paint. I did go ahead and switch over to my Kalinsky brush. It is in size, I believe, zero. Um, it's a very, very thin detail brush, but I just wanted it to be crisp with the pink um, part of the ear there. So I went ahead and outlined them as well in like a little gray just to kind of make them pop. Um, and because the one ear is folded, so I kind of needed to make that, that little line. Um, but once I finish these ears, I go ahead and top coat the design and then the nails are completely done. And I think they turned out really cute. I do have a shot of my nails in natural light, so stay put for that at the end. 
Okay, so just finishing up the top coat, I do cure for 60 to 90 seconds, and this is the completed look. I think they're so cute, especially for Easter coming up. They are very, very simple to do, so I think they are beginner friendly. Um, if you guys have any questions, then be sure to comment them down below if you have like any problems creating, like recreating this, if this is something you want to do, um, I'm glad to help. Otherwise, this is what they look like in the natural light. I think, again, the chrome makes it look even better, especially with the sunshine. If Easter sets or like spring sets are something you guys enjoy seeing, then please comment down below so I know to create some more. Otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys um, figure out whether or not you think you should purchase this kit. Do I think it is worth your money for $13? Yes, I do. Do I think it's worth $36.99? No, no, I do not. Um, but that's what we wanted to test out. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and that you enjoyed the video. Again, if you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for your endless love and support. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!